everybody. Today's video finds us over here in Ayutthaya. And what we're going to take a look at, we're going to take another, a look at another really, really old temple. This one's a small temple. It's Wat Sika Samud, I think is what it is. And I'm not sure what that means in Thai. It does have a little bit of meaning from the way there's a moat around it. It goes back to a Pali word that means water. But uh, anyway, it's a small hall, has a pretty cool chetty that has some little alcoves with some seated Buddha images, and then it has one hall in uh, remaining. I don't know where the other hall is at or anything like that. There's not a whole lot left. So anyway, let's walk through here and let's see what we see. And the temple is surrounded completely by a moat and there is a lot of water it looks like they have all the old tiles over here from when they uh, restored something probably the little sign there's a sign here that talks about it was built probably in the early Ayutthaya era and then it was abandoned during the fall in 1767 when Ayutthaya fell you can see the perimeter wall over here and uh, what it is, is it has what they call the Utok Sima. And that Utok means Udaka in Pali, which means water. And it has really a lot of similarities to a Sri Lankan style temple. So this is the Ubasot or the ordination hall. And it's been restored as you can see. It has the normal styling across the bottom here, which would have been Ayutthaya styling for sure. It's kind of like a junk. And then you can see they've came in and they've shored up that door or that window and the door over on that other side. And then here is part of the boundary wall. Now, I don't know if the monk quarters would have been right here. You can see another little bit of a wall over there. Traditionally in uh, Thai temples, the monks stayed on the south of the temple. And the Buddha faces towards the east. And this is east over this way. You can see it's quite overgrown with trees, which is nice actually, because it's got a lot of shade here. But the bad thing is these trees take root and then they knock these walls down. So this would have been the pedestal right here for one of the Buasima stones and the same over here. And like I said, the Ayutthaya styling right here where they did those course of brick. And I really like how they did it. You can see how they carved these right here and they made that notch and then they got bigger here and it makes it look like a boat from the side whenever this is all the way plastered and everything. So we got a tree growing right here on the little balcony that would have been on the west side. And you see the fine arts department restored this. And most of these are new bricks right here and the same as this wall over here. So they would have taken the wall down and kind of restored it the way they would have seen it and use some new bricks because these other ones would have been so damaged. And then you can see the old plaster right here. It was a full three and a half, four inches of plaster and they put like tiles in there to take up space. And then this is the hall. So this would have been like a more of a Western style building here because they wouldn't have had the columns inside. The walls would have been load bearing. Most of the early IOTI buildings would have had the columns inside to where it would have supported the weight of the roof. So this was an early Ayutthaya temple, but it was probably restored middle to late Ayutthaya and redone. You can see out to the north is just water, a lot of water. And that's why I'm wondering where the Weehan was at. So it had two entrances on the east. This was a little balcony here, so you would have came in and you would have been able to pray right here. But it had the sandstone Buddha, and you can see what's left of it. It's actually quite a bit of it is intact. You can see a little bit of the face, and you see some of the smaller images. You can see how they carved in those. Vandals came in, decapitated them, and if there were any that were gold, the Burmese melted them down, took the gold away. And that one there is an pretty decent shape also. And check this out, here is a laterite stone. So 
there was probably ruins near here or maybe even on this site from prior and they maybe robbed a little bit of the building material to build the chetty and put the foundation down. Okay, there's not a whole lot to see here in this hall. It's pretty cool to see what's remaining, but the highlight is this chetty and it has all these notches and these are new images put in here, but in the old days it would have been some sandstone Buddha sitting in there. And it's pretty cool because it's a round base. Most of them you see is on a square or a rectangular base. And it does look like it's been expanded maybe two different times. You can see that this course of brick was added. And then down here, another course of brick was added. Oh, that's really cool. And then it has the three levels right here, which represents the three planes of existence, the heaven, the hell, and the earthly realm. And really cool. And there's a couple pieces of some sandstone here. And it looks like that would have been a relic chamber right there. Probably looters came in and uh, took any valuables out of there. And the finale is missing the top. I don't see it anywhere laying around. It probably is buried underneath the dirt here. Now this is in a location, you're east of the island of Ayutthaya. So this was the old settlement out here, Ayutthaya. So there were Duwadi here and Khmer like going all the way back to the sixth century. Yeah, it's really cool. So there's 20 little lotus bud niches right here. And this is similar to Wat Mayong around the Chetty. And it also, Wat Mayong has elephants around the base, but it was a square base instead of the circular. And then you have a circular Chetty here that's just down to the base. And you can see how it was constructed. So they did like a wagon wheel pattern, and then this was hollow inside, probably filled with dirt to take up space. And then a couple other little chetties out there and another base over there. But yeah, you can really see how it was enlarged and then how they did right there at first ring. They put those course of brick and then they stagger them out. Yeah, I find this quite fascinating the pattern of bricks that it, they did. They laid it long ways and short way, long, short, and they had to pattern it off exact all the way around. So you wanna talk about somebody that can really, like in their mind, they can visualize this. I mean, the, the craftsman would have just been an absolute genius to do all the pattern work of all of these bricks to get it to where it's just perfectly round. It's quite amazing. It's a skill I don't possess, that's for sure. And then the other guys that came in later and expanded it, they would have had to be able to do the same thing. And then you would have, when they were building this, just imagine they would have had bamboo scaffolding and there would have been guys all up there uh, laying bricks. It would have been quite something. There's a smaller little chetty over here also, and then another one back here in the tree. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what this is. You can see it had a wall around it, and then it might have been just a pedestal it might have been like a shrine over here, but a bit of pedestal maybe for an image on the west side of that chetty. And it looks like another chetty would have been here where this tree is at. And then we have the perimeter wall out this way. And uh, then just water. Got some lily pads and stuff like that out there. Yeah, and here's the other little chetty. It would have been a wagon wheel pattern also. And there's just nothing left. But yeah, this is an interesting chetty. It's uh, kind of different. I haven't seen any others exactly like this in Ayutthaya. I've been to this temple before and it's kind of cool to see. Just a quick little stop today. Thought this would be fun. That'll finish up our video over here at this Wat Sika Samud. This is a nice little temple. It's a small temple worth 10, 15 minutes or so of your time. I'll try to break out the drone. I want to look at it from above. I like looking at these chetties from you know, above, of, up above to where you can see kind of the little brush and stuff like that that's growing up on the top. I think that's kind of cool. So uh, anyway, it's a small temple. Come over here, take a look at it. If you're in the area of Wat Mayong, it's worth a quick stop. Cross the little bridge to come over here and look at this. You, uh, you won't be disappointed. It's, uh, not, you know, not too uh, strenuous. So anyway, if you like the video, 
smash the like button. If you know uh, anything about this temple, leave me a comment down below. I'll do some research and see if I can find more information. There's not a whole lot written about it. Uh, most everything was destroyed whenever the city of Ayutthaya fell, so all the records are gone. So it's just kind of best guess. And uh, definitely smash the like button. And until next time, from over here in Ayutthaya, at one of these unseen temples that uh, like I like to go to and nobody else does. Remember, life is a journey. So until next time, enjoy. Mm -hmm.